Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm starting in a different place today. Um, I don't even know why I've got sunglasses on. You can probably hear that it's raining. Um, I'll get them out of the way. Um, Emmy and I decided to come on a day out. You can probably see her in the mirror there. We thought we'd have a nice day and come to this one in the car next to me. This is awkward. I mean, it's going to be more awkward when I go outside and start filming myself, so I'll just get on with it. Kay's gone now. Um, we've decided to come for a day out, go for a little bit of a walk at um, a local place called Byland Abbey. So I decided it might be fun to do a vlog all about some of the local things in the area that you can do with children. So, like, what's out that you can do with babies and prams um attractions you can visit we've got loads of stuff around here that's just it's a really nice area in north yorkshire so i'm waiting for it to stop raining a little bit and then we can pop out um i've brought the um stroller seat that goes with the pram today rather than the carry cart so i was planning to use that but actually emmy keeps falling asleep she's still asleep yeah she's still asleep despite my talking um i just want to sleep in the car seat so i might just attach that onto the pram because actually she's due her afternoon nap right now so she'll probably stay asleep better if i keep her in the car seat let's wait a few minutes until the rain stops a little bit because i don't want the baby to get wet even though i've got a rain cover i'm not entirely sure how to use it um and then we'll jump out and have a look around byland abbey So Byland Abbey um, was founded in 1177. It's one of the super old abbeys that are around this area of North Yorkshire. We've also got Fountains Abbey, we've got Revo, we've got Newer Priory, which is where we got married. And you can read some of the blog posts about that over on my blog. It was originally, I'm not sure you say this, a Savignac Abbey. Um, and it was adopted by the Cistercians. Um, and it now stands in a state of complete ruin. So Byland Abbey was actually described as one of the shining lights of the north and you can probably see why. Have a quick glance around. By the late 12th century there were over 30 monks living here. Um, nowadays you can see there are no monks living here because it's completely ruined. It's just a pile of old stones essentially but a pretty spectacular pile of old stones and one which we just drive past randomly on our way places. It's one of those things where um, you live in the area but you just completely overlook things all the time you just forget about the natural beauty that well not natural you just forget about the beautiful places that you've got around you so Byland Abbey might be a bit more suitable for older children because you've got as you can see all these original rooms they used to have here so might be more fun for older children climbing over the walls although not climbing on the walls probably I'd suggest um but if you've got a pram oh dear <laughs> you're all right a second ago what's up but as I was saying, if you've got a pram like this one, which is, oh dear, we're going to have to keep walking, one of the um, three-wheeler ones, these are excellent over this kind of terrain. Um, as you can see, it's bumping along a little bit, she's bumping around a bit, but she's having a wonderful time. This is the Quinny Buzz Extra 3, if anyone's interested, and I've just popped the car seat onto it for this journey because it was much easier than getting her in now. I thought she might stay asleep, but actually she's decided to wake up. So nowadays Byland Abbey is um, managed by English Heritage and it's actually free to enter the site, which is amazing. Um, considering... <laughs> yes, so it's free to enter the site. Um, right now I'm stood in the... I can't see because I've got the screen window on it, in the cloisters. And behind me you can see um, the rose window. This was actually restored in 2017, I believe. Or well, somewhat restored, you can see it's hardly restored. Um, and this window was the inspiration for the famous rose window at York Minster, which is just, I don't know, 15 miles down the road from here. So currently Byland Abbey is undergoing some um, restoration work. Right now is that stonemasons are restoring some of these lancet windows at the front. Um, and they've also removed some of the vegetation around the bottom that was damaging the masonry. It's a traditional lime mortar that this is made of and obviously that decays very quickly so especially with this lovely Yorkshire weather we've got which is looking sunny at the moment but dark over there. And once you're done exploring the ruins of the abbey um, you can pop into the tea room which is opposite here. This used to be the Byland Abbey um, 
Inn, I think it was. Um, and we came here a few times and it was open up. Um, actually, my uncle had his wedding reception here in the gardens just over there. And we took some photos out in the abbey afterwards. So it serves Brymore ice cream, which I have to tell you is one of the best ice creams around. So I would highly recommend stopping in there. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at Byland Abbey. I know it wasn't a long one, but there isn't a lot to say about it really. It's very old, it's in ruins. Um, it's pretty spectacular to look at. Um, so yeah, if you've got a pushchair that'll deal with the grounds, it's a pretty awesome one to come to for a nice walk on a nice So Byland Abbey um, lies just outside the village of Coxwold, um, which is another super old place. It dates back to, oh, I think it's the 1100s, maybe earlier. It's actually mentioned in, it's actually mentioned in the Doomsday Book. Um, Coxwold is home to this pub here, which is the Falkenberg Arms. Um, I haven't been here for a long time, so I can't recommend it to you, but it's always a nice place to stop even if you just want a drink on the way to or from Byland Abbey. So as well as there being the Grade 1 listed building of Byland Abbey just outside Coxwold, there's also the Grade 1 listed building Newber Priory, which I keep mentioning is where we got married. Like many of the little villages in North Yorkshire, Coxwold has got its own village church and um, graveyard or churchyard attached to it. Coxwold's church is St Michael's Church and the original was actually built in 700 AD that stood on top of the hill since that time. Um, the one that stood there now is from 1420. Um, so even though it's not quite as old as the original that stands there, it is a pretty old building. It's just a quick car stop in Coxwold with another attraction that you can visit. This is Shandy Hall. And it's always worth checking if you're in the area whether the gardens for this are open. It's a quirky little house. Um, it was the home of Lawrence Stern, who was a novelist in the 18th century and the vicar in Coxwold. Um, as you can see, it's just a really pretty little place. It's only open a few times a year um, and only 11 till half past four, apparently, when it is open. Coxwold is located on a sort of crossroads. There are four entrances into the village. Um, we've looked at one which comes from the Byland Abbey direction, the other one which comes from Kilburn um, where you can find the White Horse on White Horse Bank um, and that was the one where Shandy Hall's located. Then you've got this entrance into Kilburn which um, has the old disused station which is now used as somebody's home so I'm not going to film too much of that um, but you can see the old ticket office there. This dates back to um, the 1850s and it was part of the York, Newcastle and Berwick Rail. It closed to passengers back in the 50s, like many of the um, little village stations around here. They used to be located in pretty much every small village around here and you could get the train to all different towns and villages all around Yorkshire, North Yorkshire. Um, it must have been really handy back in the day. I wish we still had it now, to be honest. On the final route out of Coxwold, you've got the tea rooms on the left and a cabinet maker furniture showroom on the right. And coming out this direction, you're heading towards Newber Priory, the other Grade 1 listed building that I mentioned. The final route out of Coxwold is home to Newber Priory. A quick car stop again, because Emmy's asleep in the back. Um, this is where we got married. And I'll do some more information on this one another day. So hopefully you've enjoyed this little tour of Byland Abbey and a very quintessentially um, British, North Yorkshire um, village, Coxwold. Um, I've recently been watching loads of travel hey. vloggers. Oh dear! I stopped the car, she's got upset. I've recently been watching lots of travel vloggers um, that are American or Australian um, and seeing them going around England and like pointing out things that are really beautiful that I hadn't even noticed before. So I thought it might be worth doing some of that around our own area. So yeah, that's my plan. I want to show some more of the little towns and villages around us. And now I've got to get this baby inside and feed her. So, oh car got upset that someone was walking behind it when there wasn't so yeah so i'll try and do some more of these little videos in the future so let me know if you've enjoyed them um it's been quite fun to film and i'll see you next time bye